What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with the Beginner Guitar Show for Let You by Ian Dior. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button, and the guitar that we're jamming on today is called a Faith Blood Moon Neptune. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Let You on guitar is that in order to keep this song as accurate and beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to third fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'm going to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing we usually go over for a song is a structure, but for Let You, we're actually going to repeat the same chord progression and the same strum pattern through the entire song. So you don't need to worry about the structure for this one. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into Let You is the four chords that you need to play this song. The first one is A minor 7. The next one is C. The next one is E minor 7. And the last one is D. And I'll have chord charts for all of those linked in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive in to Let You. Guys, this is a groovy new song from Ian Dior. I haven't listened to a lot of his stuff, but I do really like the song Mood that he put out. So I saw this song came out a few days ago and I was really stoked to share it with y'all. It's very beginner friendly. We just have one four chord progression that repeats through the whole song and a pretty simple strum pattern to go along with it. So first, let's take a look at our chord progression. Our chord progression for Let You is gonna be A minor seven, C, E minor seven, and D repeated through the whole entire song, start to finish. So for our strum pattern, we'll be using something about like this for each chord. We use our A minor as an example here. We're gonna strum down, chuck, up, up, down, up for each chord, but a little quicker than that. So it'll look about like this. We'll go just about like that for each chord. Now, if you're not familiar with chucking, it's nothing too terribly crazy or complicated. All it is is basically a muted strum. So there's a couple different ways to achieve that. What I'm doing is I'm actually using these fingers that I'm not using for my chords here on this side, my ring finger and my pinky finger over on my fretting hand, and I'm muting the strings. I'm just resting my fingers softly on those strings right there so it muffles the strum, muffles the chord, so that we can just strum and it's just gonna give us that ch sound. Another way that you can actually do that is by palm muting essentially and resting the palm of your hand on the strings near the bridge to get that same kind of sound. So that second kind of strum there is going to be a chuck and all the other ones are regular strums. So that's going to be our strum pattern. Down, chuck, up, up, down, up for each chord. Let's do a little walkthrough guided and show you what that actually looks like when you break it down. So when you break all that down, a little walkthrough of what that chord progression with that strum pattern it will be, it will look about like this. Start with our A minor 7 here, we'll go down, chuck, up, up, down, up, onto C, down, chuck, up, up, down, up, onto E minor 7, down, chuck, up, up, down, up, and then down to D, down, chuck, up, up, down, up. Just about like that, repeated through the whole entire song, just a little quicker. So with all that in mind, guys, nothing too terribly crazy here, all beginner-friendly chords, pretty beginner-friendly strum pattern to go along with it. But a couple times through the chord progression and strum pattern, it's going to repeat all the way through Let You will look about like this without me talking. And guys, that's everything that you need to know to play Let You on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 900 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. Hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude, if you want to see what I'm up to in between videos, and drop off some song requests. And lastly, guys, if you need a little extra help with this song or any other aspect of beginner guitar, you hit up this link right up here to a one-on-one -on -one lesson with me. Guys, Let You is a super fun and jammy new song from Ian Dior. I really, really dig the guitar for this song, and I really haven't listened to a lot of Ian Dior's music other than obviously his big hit, Mood, um, but this is fun. I really dig this song. I had a lot of fun learning it. I love the strum pattern, because I love strum patterns that include some chucking and some different elements, because again, this repeats the same thing through the whole song, so any element to kind of spice it up a little bit. So like those seventh chords add a lot, the A minor seven and the E minor seven, those really add a lot to it and give it this really kind of just uh, kind of unique sound that I really like especially in a song like this that's very repetitive and then obviously like I said that strum pattern with that one chuck in there it just makes all the difference and makes it not so like kind of 
I don't want to say boring to play, but it makes it less repetitive or makes it feel less repetitive. So guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well and hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.